Hey guys, it's San and welcome back to the Bulba Squad. So today we're going to be taking a trip back in time all the way to 2016-2017 with the Pokemon Go Boom. The reason this is relevant is a lot of things are going the exact same way that it did back then. And anyone who was around during that time already knows that and is kind of moving forward with it. SM Pratt has been hinting that he, he sees it's repeating itself. He just hasn't said it blatantly. And it's better to move with some form of grounding and basis and thinking you have an idea of what's going on versus saying, you know what? I don't know what the market's going to be doing because it's a completely different beast. We're going to do whatever. Why? You do that, you're probably going to miss way further from the... T you'll be further off the target than if you try to move with some form of direction off of what has happened historically. So, without further ado, let's get down into it. First, Pokemon Go hit and the demand spiked. However, this demand, for the first time, really trans transcended into modern, and modern actually began to appreciate. For those of you that don't know, modern has never been this massive behemoth that we know today. It's always been kind of calmer. It had booms, but there was a lot of downtime, and the hobby as a whole was very quiet. Nothing was going on back then. This demand spiked across the board. Prices began to increase. One of the ones everyone should know is the Crystal Sky, Crystal Card. I believe it was uh, Skyridge Charizard. I kept getting it confused with Crystal Guardian. Skyridge Charizard, forty-five hundred. It went all the way up to that. So then modern sets began to appreciate, and then Evolutions became the very first allocated set. Yes, even during the Pokemon Go boom. Pokemon had to deal with allocating sets because it was just that bad. Then, Pokemon decided to ramp up the printing, not unlike what's happening today. And once they decided to do that, demand began to slowly slow down, just like right now, and combined with an increased print runs, the prices started to tank across the board. So, you want a perfect example of this? The sets that were specifically hit initially were Roaring Skies, Primal Clash, Ancient Origins, Breakpoint. These sets were starting to get reprinted, they were coming back out, and it was a, it was a major thing because Pokemon came out and said these sets are out of print, and then immediately turned around and printed them again, and burned everyone who was holding them. So then, after that, a bunch of sets, okay, we, I gotta rewind a little bit. That's what happened during that time. After that happened, market crashed heavily. Why, or it wasn't market crash. You could say it was just it cooled off heavily, but a lot of people view it as a crash. It goes back and forth, whatever you want to call it. That happened. So then afterwards, when the demand really hit its low, Pokemon was not able to course correct fast enough. And there were multiple sets that fell victim to this increased supply because they saw the demand in 2016, 2017, and believed they had to make more. So the sets that fell victim to this, Sun and Moon Base, Burning Shadows, Guardians Rising, Shining Legends, Crimson Invasion. So Crimson is a little more iffy. It was a weak set, but they already had an increased supply. Shining Legends, perfect example. Set was too small, supply was way too high, tanked the price. And so, right around Shining Legends, I believe, they started to decrease the supply runs. They started decreasing their print runs in order to start accommodating for the new normal. And finally, whenever the Pokemon company finally adjusted all of their print runs correctly, then what occurred is some sets towards the end of the Sun and Moon block, which were exceptional by comparison to what they got initially, started to stand out, and but were also victims to the reduced supply run. So you have a superior set with an inferior print run and then the inferior sets with a, with, a, with a superior print run. So I hope you get what I mean. And these sets were Team Up, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates. These sets were the ones that the supply, the print runs had already been kind of leveled out they've gone to where they need to go and then they were home runs so even though this was before the new normal where this was enough to satisfy the market it wasn't enough 
these sets actually started to appreciate before 2020. Not by a massive amount, mind you. But they were not the normal $90 just on eBay easily. On eBay, they were a bit higher. And that's what I'm looking at, okay? Now that for those of you who have actually made it this far, this is the point of the conversation. The reason we're looking at this is this is what I believe is going to happen in the future. This is the path I see Pokemon following right now. Look at everything I just listed out. The demand spiked, 2020. Modern began to appreciate. We hit, hit that roughly uh, in the beginning of 2020. It was the Sun and Moon block, but then Logan Paul happened and it really caused a bunch of them to spike. Pokemon is ramping up printing very clearly. We can see that, especially with the new printers that are going to be coming online. The demand is starting to slow. Look at Battle Styles. Look at Chilling Rain. Shining Fates. And multiple sets are going to fall victim to excess printing. I think that's very likely what is going to occur next. I don't know if Evolving Skies will fall victim to it or Celebrations. I think Celebrations has a good shot of falling victim to it. Evolving Skies, it really depends. If there's a ton, a ton of this product, maybe it'll fall victim to it and it'll tank hard. But the thing is, we don't know. That's a really strong set. That set is just, it's another beast. It would need an absurd amount of product out there in order to tank that price. I'm not sure how low it'll go, but low if, if we have a massive print run, it could drop to Battle Styles prices at $85 shipped. And to give you an idea about what this time horizon looks like, the Pokemon, like, kind of like the dying, the moment whenever things started to go really bad during that old boom, was February 2017. Whenever it finally started to pick up, started to, opportunity arose, January 2019. You had to wait 23, 24 months in order to get your next opportunity. Why? Because that's just how the game goes. But if you had waited, if you had waited, been patient, stuck with stuck with different sets, yeah, you you had to adjust and all that. But if you were waited, waiting and you saw those sets, the tag team sets, you saw that the supply had been dropped from what it was originally during the boom, you would have made out with a killing on those sets. Team up, what is it? Uh, team up something like seven, eight hundred dollars right now. I think the cheapest of all the tag team sets is two hundred and fifty, two hundred and eighty dollars. You would have made a killing if you noticed that. And even if we decide to go further back, the prices that Sun and Moon Base tank to, the prices that Crimson Invasion tank to, Shining Legends. All these sets that fell victim to being overprinted and the demand falling, if you were able to time it just right for the bottom, like somewhere there, if you caught it while it's still going down and almost near the bottom or as it's starting to climb up, either way, you would have made out with a killing. $2.50 a Shining Legends pack. $1 a Generations pack. Think about that. And this is the trend I see happening right now. If I'm wrong, so be it. But I don't see anyone else pointing this out. I don't see anyone else talking about it. So I wanted to bring it to you, you guys' attention. Your, y'all's attention. So, tell me, what do you guys think about this little history lesson? I know this probably won't do as well with the algorithm, but who cares? This is something important that we need to talk about. Do you guys think this will occur? Or do you think that we are in a completely different beast of modern and just the hobby as a whole? that we're probably going to find a, follow a completely different trend. In which case, what do you think that trend is? So, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.